What's up, guys? Um, it's Comic Con Hall time. You ready for this? Because I am. Uh, I had a great time yesterday. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better first Comic Con experience. It was really cool to get to meet up with Scott. Uh, I'm lucky that um, one of the coolest people in the community and one of my best friends on here lives so close to me. So I uh, really, really appreciate that. Uh, that we were able to meet up here today. It was super fun, and we're going to have to do that again. But uh got a bunch of singles, a print, a trade, uh, all sorts of good stuff. So uh, I guess we'll get right into it. Oops. Knocking stuff over. Uh, the trade that I got is Talk by Steven Berger. This is, uh, he's a local, well, he's a local artist to Toronto. He's from Toronto. But uh, it's really awesome art inside. It's all based on... Uh, conversations that he's had, ex uh, exaggerations of those conversations. So I'm um, really looking forward to reading this. It was, it's, uh, seems pretty awesome. And I think yeah, Scott picked up one as well. So um, I'd be interested to hear his thoughts. And along with that, I grabbed a print. This is like zombified uh, Marilyn Monroe. Love it. So this is I think this is going to be framed. It's super awesome. Uh... That's it for other stuff, I guess. I got some autographs, too. These are, uh... First thing, when we got in there, there wasn't a ton of people in there yet, so we got right to Tony Moore. This is uh, Deadpool number one. And number two. Autographed. And then we found Yannick Paquette later at the end of the day. Got him to sign my Swamp Thing books. This is number 15. Number 16... And number 18. Kind of annoying that he signed right on the title, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, now into the rest of my singles. Uh, I'm cutting quite a few out because um, I picked up a lot of later Swamp Thing books, and they're just not all that impressive. So um, I don't feel like showing them, but uh, I did pick up some more. I am going to show some of my favorite Swamp Thing books that I got. Uh, a lot of the ones I cut out are Volume 2 and Volume 3. But, yeah. I picked up about s probably 70 Swamp Thing singles in total. So, uh, that's addition to the ones that I show. Here is uh, Saga of Swamp Thing number 8. It's Volume 2. Here, i got to find a place to put this shit. Here's number 26. 31. 33. This is, of course, the homage to uh, House of Secrets 92, which I did find, but when I went to... Scott gave me the heads up before I saw it uh, earlier in the day, and then when I went to try and haggle with the guy later on, it was gone, so that's a bummer. Here's number 36. 43. 46. Sorry, guys. It's a mess here. Uh, 54, 67, I have another copy of this, but it's in really bad shape, so needed to upgrade. Here's number 70, love this cover, love the orange. I got a lot of really cool covers in here, this is one of them, 75, 86, here's another one of those awesome covers, 87. 90, 117, and this is volume 3, number 17. So I got a lot of really awesome Swamp Thing stuff. Uh, paid a dollar for a lot of those issues, Some, in some cases a lot less, so um, pretty cool stuff there. And the rest of this stuff is all Bronze Age books, which going in I really wanted to focus on that. And, uh, and I, there's a couple series that I've been looking to get into as far as bron the Bronze Age is concerned. And I did that. I was successful in that. And also I picked up some more really cool stuff. So, um, so yeah, these are uh, Swamp Thing Volume 1s, which I've been uh, buying, you know, on and off. I didn't finish it like I wanted to, but here is Swamp Thing number 14, number 15. And of course I did this. There's no way that I 
couldn't. Uh, this is number 18. This is just my luck. But uh, the one on the right, I believe. Yep, this my right. This one is uh, in significantly better condition. So I'm just going to pretend that I know that I bought that one second. So I think that I upgraded. Here is number 19. 20. 21. Oops. 21. 22. 23. And 24. This is the last book in that series. I think I'm missing 6 or 7. And that includes um, number 1, which can be a little pricey. Also picked up some Commandies. This is number 12. Oops. Number 18 with the Eater. Here's number 21. Commandy seems to be struggling with this with this giant crab, apparently. Here's number 29. Commandy's fighting a gorilla in some underpants. But I'm uh, really pumped to find this issue. That I believe that's the one where they find Superman's costume. And then you're led to believe that uh, it, all, it takes place in the future of the DC Universe. The current DC universe. Uh, here's number 35. 37. 43. And 44. So lots of awesome candy stuff there. I also picked up some Phantom Strangers. Now the Phantom Stranger gives a lot of shit. And, but his book, his new book is cool and these old books are beautiful. So um, the haters can... Shut up. This is Phantom Stranger number 24. 25. Love this cover. 28. 29. 32. One of my favorite covers of the day, number 33 with Dead Man. 34 and 39 so lots of awesome stuff there uh, I guess we'll switch gears and go into some Marvel stuff I didn't buy a ton of Marvel stuff but uh, I got a few things love 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 this cover this is Where Monsters Dwell number 30 super awesome there this is Crypt of Shadows number 7 and number 12, really awesome cover from inside the skeleton, you know. Here is Soul of the Son of Satan, number 4. I saw a few of these, and I thought about grabbing them, but I didn't know anything about it, so I just got the one, and I'll uh, probably be picking more up at a later date. Here is Chamber of Chills, number 19. My first Dracula book, but I had to grab it because it was only a dollar. This is Tomb of Dracula, number 12. Number, or here's my end thing, number 17, volume 1. Number 2, volume 2. And number 8, volume 2. And I got some Guardians of the Galaxy books. These are Marvel Presents. I picked up uh, the rest of the series, or some of the series, a few weeks back. But this is uh, Marvel Presents, Guardians of the Galaxy, number 4. Number 5. Number 6. And number 12. And the rest of this stuff, the rest of the stack here is all uh, various uh, DC books. Mostly horror stuff, some other stuff. But uh, this is The Witching Hour, number 31. Awesome cover. Cover of the day, hands down. House of Secrets number 105. Love it. Love, love, love it. This is House of Secrets number 127. House of Mystery number 248. Uh, runner up for cover of the day. House of Mystery number 207. I believe this has some uh, Bernie Wrightson art in it, so I'm super pumped about that, of course. 
Black Magic number six. And number three. I don't know how this got in this pile, but this is DC Comics Presents Superman and Swamp Thing number eight with Solomon Grundy. Challengers of the Unknown number 82. And 85. This is a six part Swamp Thing and Dead Man story. And I picked up the first four issues a couple weeks ago. And uh, I was pumped to find the other two there. Here is Unexpected number 174. 175. Weird Mystery Tales number 19. This bitch turning into a moth. Weird War Tales number 87. There's a ton of Weird War Tales awesome that have awesome covers. So I'll uh, be looking for those in the future. If you're watching this video, you can kind of see what I'm into. All the uh, horror type stuff. But I did grab these because they're awesome looking. Here is Beowulf Dragon Slayer number 3. And this is the first one I grabbed because the cover is awesome and it says Beowulf meets Dracula. Here's number 4. Uh, I don't know why I got the... Actually, yeah, I do. I, I know why I got these, because they look cool. But here is uh, Sword of Sorcery number three. And number four. And finally, I don't know a ton about this book or about this series, but uh, the cover looked really awesome, so I grabbed it. This is Stalker number three. And that does it for for singles and stuff. Um, like I said, I picked up some more stuff, but um, in the sake of time and your boredom, I will skip that stuff. But thanks, thanks a bunch for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, I had an awesome, awesome time at Comic Con. Um, really cool hanging out with Scott. I can't wait until I think we're gonna do a con or a show. Uh, June thirtieth is the date, so um, really, really looking forward to that. Um, leave me a comment like this video, subscribe to me if you haven't already. I appreciate everything you guys do. And, uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be back. <clears throat> I'll be back tomorrow for my pull list. See ya.